There's been a lot that has happened since we went into lockdown. Um, the first, of course, has been the vaccine mandates. Uh, this was for all of the, pretty much every healthcare worker and education worker. Uh, they all had to be vaccinated or they lost their job. Now, I don't exactly, I don't think we've gotten a lot of, or too much of the figures or the stats for exactly how many people lost their job. Because they gave a deadline and that was, I don't remember which date it was, but it was like a, bit, a few weeks ago. And it was basically, once that deadline happened, a lot of people had quit their jobs. We're not too sure how many people lost their jobs. I've seen this, and um, I might have to look into it more, but yeah, we've seen a few, but I think we'll, we'll probably take a while for the true numbers to come out, um, probably by the time this comes out, it'll be, already be out in, you know, January, possibly even February 2022. So naturally, what a lot of people are wondering is, well, how is the government planning on filling up the roles of all the people who lost their jobs? Well... Apparently, they have given 300 border exemptions to teachers. Now, let's put aside any discussion about immigration. That's just, that's not really the main important subject that at least I want to focus on right now. Because if you think about it, these people are being given and they're punished or they're not fired, but well, sometimes they are. But they've been, they've been given an ultimatum where if they didn't want to give, go, undergo a medical procedure, which we are, New Zealand does, are allowed to, and as said in the Bill of Rights right here, um, I know, you know, actually, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for, if in case any member of the Labour government or Parliament or any of, like, any of the New Zealand government as a whole, I recommend you guys giving it a read. It would definitely help us out in the long run, not you guys, us, you know, the regular uh, Kiwis. Um... But they are basically said, if you do not want to undergo this medical procedure, that being having being vaccinated, then you kind of have, then you'll be, be getting fired or you'll have to quit. Let's put aside any issue about the vaccine. That is messed up. Now, personally, I don't have a very strong opinion on the vaccine or any of the COVID vaccines. I know a lot of people are sort of more, oh, these vaccines, they're pure good, and they'll, they'll help us fight COVID. And then you've got, like, the real, the, the antsy people who are like, oh, these vaccines, they're hooked up to these cell towers and 5G, or, okay, to be honest, I'm not too familiar with the anti-vaccine argument. Um, but me, I'm sort of more in the middle. I respect people's right to choose whether or not they want to be vaccinated, unlike the uh, New Zealand government who doesn't respect that decision at all. And especially considering uh, Jacinda Ardern herself has did say in the past, in 2020, that there would be no penalties for anyone who was unvaccinated. But now, if you don't get vaccinated, you're losing your job.